fun. Be confident. You're gonna make some mistakes. Some morning, you know, you're just gonna wake up and say, what on earth am I wearing today? It doesn't matter. No one knows, only you. Do you wear always the same outfit or do you have always the same style? Do you want to look a little bit different each day and having fun with your clothes? Then this video is for you. Hello lovelies, uh, hi, I'm Frederic, and today we're going to talk about how to plan seven outfits for the week without having a closet drama. And please let me know in the comments if sometimes you're going for an event and it takes you three hours to get dressed because you are having like a panic moment. We all went there and why seven? Outfits? Well, because it's seven days in a week. So those tips, uh, they some of course you know them. Some are so logical, but sometimes it's good to have a bit of a refresher and said yeah so my first tip it's a very simple one but check the weather you know it depends where you live in some countries or some areas the weather change so many times in the day <laughs> i'm just thinking australia right now <laughs> and different city but if you're in winter and i don't know right now you might having a snowstorm for the full week obviously you're not going to wear like a summer dress i mean uh, hello <laughs> you know but sometimes when you're looking at the weather and the very rarely accurate but you can tell if it's going to be a rainy week a cold week etc that will help you that's the foundations next love you basics love you whatever you outfit you need like a tank for me a lot because i live in a hot climate but be well organized with your basic basic are usually tanks t-shirt shirts pants it doesn't matter which color i love black i love neutral but the basic one meaning that the foundation of the rest of your outfit girls i'm sick of repeating myself organize your wardrobe pair your lifestyle pair your activities your colors your work for example i'm gonna give you a little secret i saw that i don't remember if it was from marie kondo or someone else but if you have a chest in a bedroom for example and you know we dress by definition it doesn't work all the time we used to dress from bottom to top so the first thing you will put you will put your uh, knickers and then your bra and then you will put the top and then you will put the bottom don't ask me sometimes i just have a bra and i'm naked around and i'm thinking what's going on with me <laughs> So then try to organize your chest in the same order. Usually on the top drawer, I have my underwear. The second, I have the top or the tank for me and etc. For the socks, depends again in which climate, in which country you're living. But to me, all my everyday shoes are downstairs. So I decided not to put the socks upstairs. I put like a nice little box for the socks. So I just like have a look, grab a pair of socks, grab a pair of sneakers and off I am. Number four you are not going to like this one. You need to iron your clothes. I hate ironing, but I hate even more wearing clothes that have wrinkles or they need something need to be fixed. I just hate it. So what I do, it doesn't mean it works for everybody. Once per month, I put in a basket all the clothes that need to be ironed. I'm smiling because I just did it a few days ago and I'm waiting for a quiet evening. I'm watching, I'm trying a good movie on Netflix and I'm like, I'm going. And for two three hours i'm ironing but the beauty of it when next time i open my wardrobe and i can grab any shirt i don't have to be worried if it's not ironed or not it's ready to wear i'm ready to go because the drama you can avoid with your closet is to be organized and those tips is to be organized i should have said that at the introduction mm. lovelies the style course is back join 100 of fabulous worldwide ladies i am so humble and proud of the popularity of the course and the amazing reviews I will teach you what makes you so unique, how to identify your personal style, and so much more. Plus, I update regularly this course with fresh content and new videos. Did I also say I dropped the price? <laughs> Girls, please check the link in the description box below. Thank you. Number six, this is not compulsory. I mean, nothing I say is compulsory, but if you can try to get like a, I don't know how you call that, like a portable hanger or something, you know? And then because that's for the seven outfit of the week, because it's visual, you know, usually the closet are closed, the wardrobe as well. And I think sometimes I like the idea to have seven coat hangers with seven outfit. And it doesn't mean I'm gonna wear exactly that because sometimes I'm swapping 
but it's gonna make your life easier. If you don't like this type of thing, please let me know in the comment what's the name of that. Then you can create some space in your wardrobe for the seven coat angles and doing the same. And if you prefer it's hidden, no problem. Number seven, be creative. I don't know why, but my most creative ideas are coming when I'm in the shower. Every time I'm in the shower, my creativity is just like, Pion, pion, pion. I have many, many ideas. When I walk my dog as well, sometimes, but I meet so many people when I walk my dog, so it's distracting me, so it doesn't work well. If you're not creative in a shower, don't despair, it's okay. But I'm sure you have maybe your little ritual when you need to be a little bit alone with yourself. Maybe you do some sport and take notes. Watch people in the street, especially if you live in a city. Sit down if you have time, sit down on a terrace and watch people. I love doing that in Paris. So, oh, favorite, favorite hobby. You sit down on the terrace and you're looking at the people and soon you see someone like, oh, I really like this outfit, then take some notes. It can be a little notebook, it can be in your phone, but at least it gives you some inspiration and say, hey, I got the same clothes, but I never did that together. That looks great. Number eight. I love this one because it happens to me so many times. Get excited of wearing some clothes you haven't worn for a very long time. For example, right now I'm wearing my silk pants from my shame and I haven't worn them in a very long time and it's very hot right now. And I thought, I'm just gonna wear a singlet. I'm not feel like a dress today, you know those days. And I'm just gonna wear some sandals. I have a couple of appointments today. And I got excited about it because I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't worn those pants for a very long time. So get excited about some clothes because you put them. them you fell in love one moment of the other of this piece of items and then try to marry them. Yes, I said married. I think it's very French to say that, but I will say in English, combine or match them with something you never try and then suddenly you have a new outfit and you should get excited about it. I don't know. It works fantastically for me. Number nine, please, 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 when you finish watching this video, I would like you to give a try for a week. Really, just for one week in one year, try to organize your seven outfit for the week. You do that probably on a Sunday evening if you can. You've been thinking about it the previous week. You're taking notes, you're looking at the weather, and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna wear jeans today, pants tomorrow, dress on Wednesday. <laughs> Quick, quick, quick. Thursday, silk pants. Friday, overall. Weekend, I'm going away to go for a walk with my husband and kids. Then it's going to be more like a country look. Try those. Please give a try for a week and let me know. If you try that already, I want to know your opinion. Comment, comment, comment. Number 10. <laughs> it's such a normal one. This is exactly why I'm smiling. Have fun. Be confident. You're going to make some mistakes. Some morning, you know, you're just going to wake up and say, what on earth? am I wearing today? It doesn't matter. No one knows. Only you. Unless if your husband said, you look like a clown today. Eh, not something a woman wants to hear from the man you love. Mm, mm -mm. You don't love him anymore. <laughs> I wonder. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Did you have fun? So please subscribe. Click, click, click. Thank you so, so much. Give me a big thumbs up. I want to know what you think about this video. I want to know your trick. How do you get prepared for the full week without having a a drama in your closet. I love you very much. Thank you so, so much for your support and love, by the way. Your comments means the world to me. I read them every morning before starting my day. No BS here. So thank you so, so much again. See you soon. You take care of yourself. Ciao, ciao.